Here's a typical question shows up our chapter exams on the exponentials. So let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this type of problems. The analysis looks something like this. Uh, the secret to solve this type of problem is really this notation over here. When we're giving a fraction as exponents, a lot of students get stuck on which one goes where. Well, over the years when I'm teaching students, here's a quick way to kind of create a picture in your mind. At the number on the bottom, you're going to leave it outside this radical form. It's kind of like a leaving your bottom of shoes uh, outside as you enter a house. So think of this fraction as whatever is on the outside is on the bottom over here. Now once you have this formally grasped, this one is a pretty easy one to solve. So let's write up the equation. All right, so here's the solution. Uh, like I said earlier in the analysis over here, whatever is on the bottom gets left outside. Since we have this cubic root over here, once we write the cubic root, I'm going to cubic on both sides to get rid of this cubic root. Then I have x plus 1 squared is equal to 64. 4 to the cube is 64. Once I have that written down, I notice I have a square over here, so I'm going to take a radical root on both sides. Now here's what's very important. When you take a radical root, there's a plus and minus sign. That's why I have a plus minus 8 over here. You can't afford losing one of the roots. Now once you have a plus minus 8, uh, solving this equation is really a piece of cake. x equal to 7 or x equal to minus 9. Substituting back into the original equation, both solutions satisfy satisfies the equation. So the final answer is x equal to 7 or x equal to minus 9. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.